All right, folks. It's been a rough couple of days for me, so I think I'm just gonna drive my ass back to East Corinth, Vermont, and check out that Beetlejuice two set again. I'm just addicted to that. It might make me feel better. Go for that two and a half hour drive, even though that does that, that is the boring part. But I'm doing it anyway, even though I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be doing anything because of that whole actors' riders strike. But I'm doing it, so oh well. Let's take a look real quick. But yeah, in case you haven't heard, there's an actors and writers strike going on in Hollywood. Headed by none other than the nanny herself, Fran Drescher, who is also in Cadillac Man. She's the head of the SAG Screen Actors Guild, and they want raises. Anyway, this means that any movies currently in production are now on hold, and yup, it looks like Beetlejuice 2 is just sitting around. The sets are all still here, but they're blocked off, and the cast and crew are nowhere to be seen. It did give me the chance to get some closer shots of the sets, though. There is one interesting thing that did happen here in East Corinth over the last few days. I saw a news report about how someone stole this prop right off the set. Yeah, that art statue that Lydia's mother made. Some dick stole it. Now, I get wanting to own a prop from Beetlejuice 2, but to steal it right off the set before the movie's even done? It sort of ruins the privilege of being able to just look, not touch. Or steal, for this matter. There was also another reported theft of one of these pumpkin lamp posts. They were a prop too. Yep, some dudes tossed it in the back of his pickup truck and just bailed. I mean, this better be teenagers. They're gonna ruin this shit for guys like me who just wanna watch this shit from a safe, unbothersome distance with some minuscule hope of maybe even seeing the great Michael Keaton. Yeah, I could just steal one of these fake pumpkins. Hey, I won't lie, I even thought of it, but simply didn't do it. It seems stupid and not worth it. I mean, they were trusting enough to leave it here, mostly unguarded. You just can't trust people. All it takes is one to abuse it. What a shame. I guess if I was a dick and I was going to steal a prop from here, it would probably be the girl's school sign. Or that welcome to Winter Haven sign. But hey, I'm not a dick like that. My 15 year old mentality is in the past. Besides, stealing that house would be a bitch. Not even sure how I would do it. Helicopter maybe? So with all these actors and writers on strike and people stealing your props, Tim Burton must be stressing out about now. Sorry Tim Burton, people are just selfish. That's right, it's mine now. Hey Tim Burton, if you ever want to see your statue alive again, go get me a part in Beetlejuice 2. Or how about just a million dollars? I swear, I'll shoot this thing to pieces. Then how are you going to make Beetlejuice 2? Got one hour to get back to me. Actually, I think I'll keep the fucking thing. They can always make another one, right? Ship it back to the Vermont or whatever. Yep. I own a part of Beetlejuice. But it was still a fun, if less eventful, trip to the town from Beetlejuice. Yet this setback means they could be here a little while longer than expected. So maybe I'll come back after the strike. We'll see. Depends on Fran Drescher and this guy, Duncan Crabtree Ireland. Yeah, that's his name. Is that not the most Irishy name ever, or what? And as for and as for AI, if you're a good actor or writer, you got nothing to fear from AI. I personally want to see a real movie written by real people featuring real performances, but that's just me. I'd rather see Peter Cushing here than Peter Cushing here. But like I said, if in the end you're a competent actor or writer, you got nothing to fear. A computer will never create a masterpiece like say The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, or Back to the Future, or Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. That's just my opinion. And for not getting paid enough, well I'm sure that's true for some and not for others, but millionaire Gene Kelly guy here is probably very greedy. So whatever Hollywood people, just work your shit out so they can finish filming Beetlejuice 2 before somebody decides to steal this whole friggin' town. Adios for now, folks. So you finally decided to cave in, huh, Timber? 
Alright. We name the place. But one funny move in the statue gets it. I was just kidding, statue. I love you, seriously. I would never hurt you. I just wanted to scare Tim Burton so he'd give me a million dollars. Or at least a part in his movie. 